society. Why must you thrust onto young girls the unrealistic expectations of older generations, having to be poised, elegant, and domestic? You wound us with snide remarks and destroy us with the pain that stupid locker talk distributes spread across classrooms, halls, and cafeterias. Your comments consume every inch of us as we obsess over becoming your delusional definition of perfection, a perfection we'll never achieve because we are never good enough for you, never. And why must you turn us into superlatives? The girl next door is the prettiest, while the smart girl you sit next to is the ugliest, and it remains no problem until your sister or daughter is branded the sluttiest. You compliment our looks and call us pretty, and then you praise our beauty before you even start to recognize us as charming, intelligent, or funny. Dear society, we are enough. Hold on, I'm not finished. Why must you aim to make the confidence of young men diminish? You poison their brains with the idea of gains and limit their successes to kills in a video game. You expect them to be strong and fierce and full of pride. And when they want to show emotion, you say that is something they have to hide. And ultimately, that's why the suicide rates for men are sky high. Dear society, it's so unfair. If a boy is out and proud, he's met with stares and glares from strangers he's never even met. If he wants to do fashion, you call him gay. If he wants to be himself, it's called wrong. If a girl likes another girl, she's called a dyke. If a girl wants to be a pioneer and make an impact that will last for years and years, she's overbearing, too bossy or unrealistic. Dear society, we are tired of being your toys and experiments for new trends. Dear society, right now we're acting like we're enemies when really we should be friends. Dear society, we are done with doing what we're told. And dear society, we are people and not objects for you to control. Thank you.